Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm sharing two easy and pretty quick. One's really quick, the other one's kind of quick. Weeknight dinner ideas with y'all. I've actually made both of these recipes before, but today we're making them in a different way. The first one is a Monterey chicken bake. All right, y'all, for this recipe, we're gonna be using a nine by 13 casserole dish. I'm bringing out the fall one because it's almost time. So I just sprayed it with some cooking spray and now I'm trimming up my chicken and getting it into the casserole dish. Then we're gonna be using Sweet Baby Ray's hickory and brown sugar barbecue sauce, but you can use whatever kind you wanna use. So we're just gonna take a little bit of it and put some on all of the chicken. You also wanna make sure your chicken is about the same thickness for this recipe. So if you need to pound it out a little or you know trim a little extra off here and there, just make sure they're all about the same thickness so it'll all cook evenly. So once we got the barbecue sauce on there, now we're gonna put the bacon. Now this recipe specifically said to use thin cut bacon because we're cooking it in the oven with the chicken. You could do this differently and cook the bacon first, that way you'll get extra, extra crispy bacon. But since I wanted to try it out, you know, seeing how it would all be cooking it at one time, we didn't do that this time. So I just cut the bacon in half so that I could fit it all on the chicken and I put two slices onto each piece of chicken. That's it for now. This goes in the oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes, and I just cooked up the rest of that bacon. I was gonna save it for the salads, but we ended up eating it as a snack. What is this? It's a bug. Is it a bug? Oh, is the soldier gonna ride the grasshopper? Cow. <laughs> that doesn't come off. He wants to take this off so he can turn the soldier into a cowboy to ride. So. <laughs> Okay, so once the chicken had been cooking for 20 minutes, I went ahead and turned the oven on to broil to really crisp up the bacon on top. While that was going down, I shredded up some Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. So now we just put the cheese all over the top of the chicken and then it goes back in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes until the chicken is cooked through and the cheese is all melted and bubbly on top. So this one, very, very good. The house smelled amazing while it was cooking because that Sweet Baby Ray's Hickory Brown Sugar Barbecue Sauce totally smells a little bit like McRibs. And so the whole time I was feeling fall because that's when McRibs come back to McDonald's, you know? I was feeling fall and feeling McRibs. <laughs> Almost wishing I had made McRibs that night. You know, we did those copycat ones that were pretty good. Not the first ones, but the second ones. If you missed those, I'll link it down below. <laughs> anyway, the house smelled so good because first, bacon and then barbecue sauce. It was great, it was amazing. <laughs> so it was really good, but I will say, if you have the time and if you don't mind messing up the dishes, I would cook the bacon first. That way it's extra, extra crispy. It was pretty crispy, especially on the edges, but in the middle, it wasn't, you know, super crispy. So I would cook the bacon first if you're still gonna bake it. But if you have time, I would do the Monterey chicken the way we've done it before. If y'all missed that video, I'll link it down below. It was several months ago, maybe even close to a year ago that we made it. It's been a while. But cooking it in the skillet, I think I'm pretty sure we cooked it in a skillet. It's a little bit better that way. Still good baked. And that's a lot quicker because you just put it all in there and stick it in the oven. But yeah, if you want to see how to do it the other way, I will link it down below. Mainly talking to his puzzle over there. Okay, up next we have puff pastry chicken pot pie. Good afternoon, everybody. I am about to go ahead and get this puff pastry ready for the puff pastry chicken pot pie tonight. Manly's taking his nap right now. 
some of the kids are still finishing up their schoolwork. So we're gonna go ahead and get this part done. So what we do is unroll the puff pastry. I sat this out this morning so that it could thaw. It was in the freezer, you know? So it's been sitting out and it is ready. What we're gonna do is roll it flat a little bit. It's already flat, of course, but we need to roll it out a little bit more. We're gonna make it in a nine by 13. So when I saw this recipe, um, they made it in an oblong baking dish but I'm gonna make mine in a nine by 13 so I can make, you know, a little bit more. I'm just gonna use this pizza cutter. We need to get five strips here. So I am just gonna slice off this little bit on the edge. Now I already have my marks where we're gonna slice it, so I'm just gonna go all the way with it. So what we're doing is we're gonna make like a puff pastry lattice on top of the chicken pot pie. So now I'm gonna take these and sit these over to the side. Now we bring over the other one. And this time, I think I'm gonna put down just a little bit of flour. Same thing, we're just gonna roll this one out. I am gonna to try to keep this one. Somebody sharpened a pencil. I'm gonna to try to keep this one in the rectangle shape a little better. And we need to get six strips out of this one instead of just five. for the fun part. Here's what we do. We're gonna pull back this one, and this one, and this one, and we're gonna start putting our other pieces in here. There we go. And then we put these back. Now for the next one, we pull back the other strips, just like that. Now we do the other ones again until we have all five strips weaved in here. it now we're just gonna take this and put it in the freezer while we make the rest of the chicken pot pie all right the next step is to cook the chicken so I have my big pot I put some butter in there to melt that's about maybe just a little over half a stick of butter I'm just gonna put my recipe down below this time I'm not using the exact recipe that came with the actual puff pastry chicken pot pie that I found because that one it looked pretty liquidy and we like for our chicken pot pie filling to be more thick and creamy than soupy. So I'm gonna use my recipe that I always use for chicken pot pies, but we're using the puff pastry topping. So we're gonna let the butter melt. I will link that other one down below though, in case you like your chicken pot pie filling to be more soupy, then you might like that one better. So I will link that one down below. Okay, when the butter melts, we're gonna dump in the chicken. I'm using chicken tenderloins this time, but you can use any kind of boneless chicken that you wanna use. You can also use pre-cooked chicken. If you use pre-cooked chicken, then you can skip this part of cooking the chicken and go straight to cooking the onions and carrots and all. And then you would just shred up your cooked chicken and add it in at the end, whenever we add the chicken back in. Since I'm doing a nine by 13, I'm using almost three pounds of chicken and I just chopped it up into little bitty chicken pieces like little bitty baby chicken nuggets. So now we just cook the chicken until it starts to brown. It doesn't have to cook all the way through. It probably will pretty much since I did such little pieces but it doesn't have to cook all the way through because when we add it back in later then it goes in the oven for about 35 to 45 minutes. So we're mostly just wanting to brown it on the outside here. While it's doing that we're going to go ahead and get the onion and carrots ready and garlic. We're also gonna make some celery a little bit later, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that chopped up. Now, I'm gonna turn this down to simmer for right now. We're gonna go ahead and take out the chicken. Now we put in the onions and the carrots and the garlic. I'm gonna turn the heat back up to medium and we're gonna let these cook for about three minutes until the carrots start to get tender. Might take about three to five minutes since I left them bigger. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other stuff that I'll need. Salt, pepper, 
thyme and the parsley and flour. And what else are we gonna need? We're gonna need chicken broth and heavy cream. I'm putting in a third of a cup of flour. Might need just a little bit more. Let me see how that looks when I get it stirred up here. I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little more. So you probably need, if you're doing a nine by 13 like this, it'll be about a half a cup of flour. Now we're gonna put in some thyme. I'm just gonna shake a little in here. I'll have all the measurements down below. Now parsley flakes. I need about a tablespoon, so I'm gonna take this off and just do it like that instead of having to do all that shake, shake, shake. Now salt and pepper. Now we dump the chicken back in and stir it up and coat it with the flour and seasonings too. Now we add in the chicken broth and the heavy cream. We're gonna do two cups of chicken broth. One cup of heavy cream. Now we're just gonna let this come to a simmer. I turned it up just a little above medium and then it'll start to thicken up. Oh, I almost forgot the celery. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. There we go. Now while this is coming to a simmer, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my mess back here. The last thing we're gonna do is take an egg, I put just a little bit of water in here with it, and we're gonna brush this over the top of the puff pastry. And that's it, we're just gonna put it in the oven at 350 for 35 to 45 minutes, and I'm just gonna keep a watch on it. If the puff pastry starts to get too brown, then we'll cover it with some foil for the remaining cook time. I did do this a little different, I didn't put the sweet peas in here. Manly's up from his nap. I didn't put the sweet peas in here like I normally do for chicken pot pie or chicken dumplings. That's because I knew I wanted to make the beans to go with it, so I left the peas out. And I don't think I always put celery, but I did put the celery this time. There we go, it's going in the oven. I'm setting a 20 minute timer so I can start checking it then to make sure we don't burn the top. Did you have a good nap? Uh oh, what happened? Uh oh, the bunny stuck on the quack quack. He mix and matches his activities. He'll take his puffy stickers and bring them over here. Why? Is the scarecrow riding the horse? He gonna ride the bull? Oh, okay. There are no words for how good this chicken pot pie recipe is. It doesn't matter if you put puff pastry on top. It doesn't matter if you put a pie crust on top. It doesn't matter if you made like a big old biscuit and put on top. It's going to be good. It really is amazing. I love that chicken pot pie. It was really good with the puff pastry too. So pretty how we crisscross, you know, made the little lattice thing. That just looks really pretty for your family or your friends to make it like that. I really liked it with the puff pastry because it's extra crispy on top. He wants to press the button. Y'all are in the microwave and he just, you wanna press the button? Show him how, oh, you gonna show them how to press the button? Did you like the chicken pot pie? Uh -oh. uh. He just wants to press the buttons.
Hey, but. Yeah, buttons. <laughs> Haley's off the Mama, uns. Mama, but. Press the but button. <laughs> button. All right, y'all, that's gonna be it for today's video. I'm gonna have these recipes down below for y'all and the other ways that we make them linked down below so y'all can go check that out if you wanna try it another way. We're about to go outside and play. You wanna go play? Get your foot, he knocks on the door to go out like somebody out there is gonna open it for him. Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call 